To hold the Gulf waters at bay, engineers build this major new defense, the Lake Bourne Surge Barrier. We're out on the far east side of New Orleans. Uh, over my shoulder here is the city, and then over here is the marsh, which opens up into Lake Bourne, and then the Gulf of Mexico. Building the barrier took just over two years and $1.1 billion. The steel that's in the wall, there's enough steel and rebar to build seven Eiffel Towers. Uh, all the concrete we used, if you put it on a football field, you can go up 93 feet. Foundation piles anchor the two-mile barrier deep into the mud. Concrete columns, reinforced with steel, bolster its five and a half foot thick walls. High water levels trigger a gate closure. First, a 132 ton vertical gate drops down. Next, a barge gate swings across the barrier. It fills with water, then sinks. Finally, an enormous third gate closes. Each leaf weighs over 600 tons. They curve and angle downwards into the flow of the water. This way, as a storm surge hits, it forces the gates to fully seal. Today, engineers will put the barrier to the ultimate test. Tropical Storm Karen is heading for the coast. Meteorologists predict it will hit land in downtown New Orleans. The Lake Bourne surge barrier kicks into action. We're in the control room for the sector gate. This is where we close the gate. The noise in the background is the uh, hydraulic pump that's actually pushing the piston to close the gate. This gate will prevent all the storm surge from uh, moving into the city, Lower Ninth Ward, East New Orleans, all of it. This is only the second time in the barrier's operational history that it's closed. 1,350 tons of steel slam shut to keep the storm surge out of the city. <laughs> 